Hi everybody, this is Avril Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to increase your FPS on the new Paladins game. First of all, we will add a set launch option here. Donc, you add no splash. This one will not uh, give you more FPS. It will just like be faster when you launch your game. You will skip all those um, like intro at the start of the game. And after that, the other one is use all available core. Uh, you need like it gives the game the priority um, for your resources. So for an example, if you have a ice five, um, you have four core. So you make sure that you're making sure that the game will use the four core, not just two. For an example, okay. So uh, on my computer, it didn't change anything. Uh, if you look at the FPS, but I saw uh, some improvement on other computers, and a lot of people on the web are using that too, and they, they saw a nice increase. So make sure that use it using this. Uh, in the game, you don't have a lot of option uh, to change. It's pretty basic. So we will use the config file to change uh, the graphic uh, settings here. So first of all, you need to go to Documents, My Games, Paladin's Life, Chaos Game, and Config. You need to open the Chaos System setting. Okay? Uh, you will see this is crazy. You have a lot of option in the uh, settings file. Uh, Everything after render here, you will see, uh, even there, you can change stuff. Uh, you will see a big improvement in your um, in your uh, FPS because you have a lot of small options that you can tweak, okay? So first of all, if you have a lot of problem to gain your 60 FPS, all the shadows needs to be removed. So each time you see a, f a false or true, true is... Uh, the graphic option will be on the game and false you deactivate it okay so all the shadows make sure even mobile mod shadow put that at false you need to make sure that everything is at off okay uh, I've, just with this tweak you will gain 12 fps average depending on your uh, G, uh, computer but you can gain a lot of fps just to remove your sh uh, your shadows uh, for me shadows is not an important graphic option because you know paladin is a performance game you want like fps you want to be fast you don't want like yeah, some sluttish and lag and stuff like that so remove your shadows also all the dynamic uh thing in the game so dynamic lights dynamic shadows remove this and you will gain uh Again, depending on your computer, 8 to 12 FPS. Uh, dynamic, uh, if we were, were talking about light or shadow, uh, needs a, re a lot of resources because it's render uh, all the stuff like in, in the moment, in the current moment. So uh, uh, your G CPU will... The problem is this game is not well optimized on the GPU side. It's taking a lot of resources for your CPU. So if you have a bad CPU, uh, graphic like shadows, dynamic, particle, reflection, uh, will use a lot of the resources of your CPU, okay? And you can bottleneck over there. The other one, particle. Make sure all those par particle options are at false, okay? And you can gain, again, eight to 12 FPS. So after that, you remove all those uh, particle, reflection, shadows. Uh, yeah, I didn't talk about reflection, but reflection is one option that you can change. The Allo image reflection. Just put this one at false. Okay. So after that, you can tweak other stuff like depth of field. This one can give you 3 to 4 FPS. All those blur and bloom options, put this at false. You will see a nice increase over there. Um, yeah. That's about it. After that, you can change a lot of stuff. Resolution of the shadow, because the shadow, uh, you have some basic shadow that will be at low. You can change it if you want. Uh, but those parts, I will not do it one by one, because you can change a lot of stuff in the game. The last thing that I want to tell you, uh, guys, it's uh, the anti-aliasing. Aliasing, you can gain a lot of PS by removing it, but you will have a big decrease in your image quality, so it's kind of pain in the ass. So make sure that you're just using 4X or the uh, FX option that they give you. Don't use the TSAA or slash 8X because it's taking a lot of resources to a computer to render that. So uh, make sure that you're reusing 4X. For sure, you can put it at off uh, if you really have some trouble to run the game. But uh, do my tweak before touching the anti-aliasing because you can gain a lot of FPS by changing other stuff. So if you have any question, guys, uh, post me your rig on the YouTube comment section. Uh, CPU, GPU, uh, RAM, 
and uh, tell me what you change or just copy me your file uh, in the YouTube section and I will tell you what you can tweak and what you can change. So that's about it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace out.